the shark and the scissors a tale of fins and fashion brought to you by storytime esl chapter seven underwater styles with the chaos of the morning behind them finn and mr snip's salon returned to its bustling rhythm creatures of all shapes and sizes continued to flock to the shop eager to experience Finn's expert touch and impeccable sense of style. One sunny afternoon, as Finn was putting the finishing touches on a sleek new haircut for a dashing dolphin, a group of young seahorses swam into the salon, their fins aflutter with excitement. We're going to the Coral Cove Coral Ball tonight, one of the seahorses exclaimed, his voice tinged with nervousness but we don't know what styles will make us stand out. Finn grinned, his scissors twirling deftly in his fins. Not to worry, my friends, he declared, his voice brimming with confidence. We'll find the perfect styles to make you shine. With a steady fin and a keen eye for detail, Finn set to work, transforming the young seahorses into visions of underwater elegance. He crafted intricate braids, styled flowing locks and adorned them with sparkling jewels and pearls, each one more dazzling than the last. As the sun began to dip beneath the waves, the young seahorses gazed at their reflections in the salon mirror, their eyes wide with wonder. They couldn't believe their transformation. Wow, Finn, you're a true artist, they exclaimed, their voices filled with awe. We feel like royalty. Finn smiled modestly, his heart swelling with pride. As the young seahorses swam away, their fins shimmering with newfound confidence, he knew that he had once again created magic in the salon, proving that, with a steady fin and a touch of creativity, anything was possible.